I was recording a video of exactly how you use Quant Crawler. It went through and did an analysis. I went through and edited the video. And now I'm refilming the intro here because I went and just double checked the video that I made with the Quant Crawler analysis. Would it have played out if I would have took it? And it would have played out a one to five return, a $200 risk to a thousand dollar hit but I didn't take it because my accounts are locked out to safeguard myself to be ready for the Asia live session that I'm doing today. So let me show you the video walkthrough that I filmed with the analysis that Quant Crawler gives us live, exactly how I upload my charts, how you can upload your charts. And then at the very end, I'll recap with you the trade that just happened that would have been a one to five risk to reward with an easy take turning $200 into a thousand like it was nothing. All right, so there's two ways that you can do this with Quant Crawler. You can come to quantcrawler.com. This is the more advanced. I have more control over this one than I do the chat GPT version. If you want to use the chat GPT version, come over to my other website, aaronandai.com. You click Quant Crawler. And then when you click Quant Crawler right here, it will pull you into chat GPT where you can access that GPT. Now, to use this, you have to have the $20 a month chat GPT plus membership. Uh, I don't control that one. So it's $20 a month to have access. If you don't already have it, the best option is going to be quantcrawler.com. You get a free 30 day trial. Then after that, it's just $10 a month. So this is what I've built to separate myself from chat GPT in case they take it down. So now it's its own website. Once you get here, you can start a free trial. You can click learn more. It'll tell you a little bit. Here's another video of me using it live and how it works. But this video is a more in-depth of exactly how I use it. So again, start your free trial. You're going to see a screen like this after you sign everything up and you log in. You just click I understand. You then up here at the top, you have a futures tab. You have a Forex tab and you have a crypto tab. You can use either one of these and they all operate the same way and have the same requirements. So for some reason, once you get set up, if you want to cancel your account, you just click the My Account button right here. It'll open up the Stripe page, and you can adjust everything there. That's the only thing in here. I'm not going to click it because it pulls up all my personal information because I, of course, have a membership. And once you click that, it goes straight into your name, your address, all that stuff on Stripe. So I'm not going to do that here, but that's how you would access it. The other thing when you're in here, if you don't want to trade the 15, five minute and one minute down at the bottom, you just click this time bar right here and you can trade change to an intraday or a swing trade setup. And you're going to upload the one day, four hour and one hour charts, four hour, one hour and 30 minutes, or we're going to do the scalping one, 15, five and one. So right now you need to upload charts. I am actively working on a bar chart integration where you will just come in here and type something like analyze NQ right now, and it will go run, pull all of the charts, all of the details that it needs to run on the back end from bar chart directly. And then it will bring that information in, analyze it, break it down, and then you will no longer need to upload charts. That's probably seven to 10 days out right now. So for the time being, we need to get to our charts wherever we are operating. I am going to come right here into my express account on top step. I actually have already locked myself out for the day because I went down $300. Then I had a good trade that came in. We went up 154 and I'm like, I'm not going to get into a bad spot. The market's weird today. So here's what you do. Once you are in wherever your charts are, wherever you're operating, you can use trading view. You can use trade of eight. You any, anything where you are trading, you can use the charts. It's not specific to be top step or trading view or anything. So here's what you want to do. Start with the 15 minute. You want to truncate down to get as much of the chart in here as you can. The other thing you can do as well is turn off these volume candles just so they don't get in the way when you take a screenshot. Now on the 15 minute on this right hand side over here, you want to take this candle that's operating and get it as close to the ticker as you can right here just to get the most info without it being blocked. So right here, I have as much info and details as I can get right now. And I just go to the camera and click copy image. I then come over to quant crawler and I paste it in. You do the same thing for the five minute and the one minute. I'm as close to the ticker as I can. I have as much info as I can get in here. I go to my camera, I click copy image, I paste it in. Again, as you would expect, same exact thing on the one minute. I get as much as I can in here, copy image. Then behind the camera where I'm at, let me hide it for a second there's an analyze button. You either click analyze or you just hit enter and it goes through and it starts running. 
So is what this is seeing right here is it's telling you to stay away. It doesn't like something about what's going on. So is what you want to verify. Did it pull the right numbers? Do you need to re-upload your screenshots? What's going on? Like, why is it saying stay away? Current price, 24665. Our current price is, well, it was 24665, but it is right now currently uh, right in the middle of a down candle. So it's not going to match exactly. It snaps from your picture. So if the price is moving, this, of course, is going to be off. So it's a recommendation to stay away. And the reason is the lack of clear directional bias across all time frames include indicates a neutral market. So it's not getting a clear read on what it thinks here. And when it does this, I just simply stay away. So now let's go to a chart, see if we can get a long or a short to present itself so you can see what that looks like. So again, I'm truncating down the 15 minute, get as much detail as I can in here. And I'm going to copy image, paste that in. And then the five minute, we'll do the same thing. That looks good already. The five minute here, and then we'll do the one minute. Kind of expand this a little out just to make sure that it can see that there's actually movement. Like if you if you were to upload something that looked like this, it's going to think it's just flat and stale. So I, I kind of give it a little bit, make these candles a little bit bigger so it knows that there's some movement. Again, I'll copy the one minute. And again, guys, I, I have this candle as close to this ticker as I can without hiding it. Um, it's getting as much info as it can squeezed into one frame. So um, from there, I just go ahead and send it through. Now, this is perfect. You can see 1046 on November 19th. This is local time for me, Pacific Standard Time. Contract is gold. Current price 4080. We're at 4080.3. It calls out 0.5 just from the screenshot. Entry 4079. If I see this, I'm not waiting. I mean, $1, I'm going in. Um, I'm not taking this trade. This is just an example. If I were like actively not on a lockout, I would probably take this along. The 15-minute chart shows an uptrend, and the 5-minute chart is pulling back to a strong support level. So it thinks it's going to continue. And then again, we have our option one, our option two with multiple contracts, and then our chart structure. And then you can see here, overall trend is upward with higher highs and higher lows. Again, higher highs and higher lows on the five minute and momentum is showing signs of slowing down to the downside, potentially indicating a reversal off the one minute. But with all of this taken into account, two or three time frames agree, the overall bias is bullish and it's giving you from the five minute chart which is what it said to calculate the support and resistance you can see we are at a support level 4079.1 which is kind of right where we are there's you know some choppiness and stuff and it ticked down but it, then it you know it regained it a couple minutes later so the support and resistance is here um a close below 4079 on the five minute chart would invalidate the trade so that's how quant crawler works you follow what it says the only thing as someone who created this that I don't follow, I'm a riskier trader. I don't ever wait for the entry price. Sometimes it'll give you an entry price that's 10 points below or 10 points above whatever your scenario is in the direction you're going. When I see something I like, I look at the charts. You got to have a human side to this too, right? Like you have to make some decisions for yourself. If you look at this and you're like, hey, I'm going in. I mean, I, I wouldn't exactly be in love with this. Like nothing about this chart makes me be like, oh, this is where I want to be. Um, but, you know, right here, this, I could see this big drop. Of course, it's it's going to rise back up like this. This isn't going to just tank. I mean, it could, but it's not going to. You can see on the five minute chart there. Then again, check on the 15. It's going through these ebbs and flows here. Um, it had a big rise. Of course, it's going to have a correction and it's going to do a rise and then a correction. And you just want to ride the wave. Um, you just have to time the wave. So Quant Crawler will help you do that uh, from what it can see. And uh, that's kind of a quick overview of how it works. And it works the exact same with Forex. Um, exact same way. You can do this. We don't have every single pair uh, for Forex in here. But if you have one that you trade that you don't see in here and it tells you the ticker is not available, then just email me. You can email me down here at the bottom. It says technical problem. Email me. Just send me the ticker and I'll get it in there. Same thing with crypto. Crypto works the exact same way, except I don't have this set up to do meme coins. It really doesn't calculate anything under a $10 million market cap. So if you're looking to use this for um, crypto, probably not going to be your best bet. You'd probably want to find an alternate option, but it will still analyze charts and it will give you a direction on things like Bitcoin, Solana, Ethereum, XRP, things like that. So so that right there is an overview of how you use Quant Crawler. That's how I use it. That's what I do and don't do with it. 
Um, like I said, I'm a riskier trader. So when it comes to the entry price, if I see something I like, the chart looks good, I just go for it. Um, and there have been times where I probably got stopped out because of that. But um, I have had a significant amount of luck using Quant Crawler in Asia Session Gold specifically. That's why I'm going to be live trading today and um, hope to see you guys there. But this is a Quant Crawler overview, how you use it and how it can be effective and useful in your day trading strategies. And then just real quick, guys, while the time I recorded that video, edited it and everything like that, you would have seen at the time we did this at 1046. If we look at the chart, that is right back around here where this blue line is weird. That's 1046 right here at 4079. We would have ran up to 4091. So if we would have had our position set and we would have went long like it had wanted us to and we would have followed the 2.4 point. Uh, $200 risk, we would have been right here at two points, give or take, and we would have hit, even if we let it run, we would have went all the way up to 10 points. We would have had a one to five risk to reward, you know, because we would have had a two point loss. You can see here from where it told us to go in, it would not have hit. There was no correction. There was no pullback. And if we would have followed this live advice that we did, again, it called it right here. This is at 46. And we would have went in and boom, boom, boom. Two points, we would have got 10 points, we would have been out. And then it has now since corrected and we would be out at this point. But if we took it at the time of the live, we would have had a one to five. We would have turned $200 into 1,000.